Hey everybody, welcome to the next game that I'm going to play, which is the forest. Oh no! Let me explain in a bit why we start right into the action, and also why this is not my first let's play of this or first playthrough. That is after the crash. Hold on, boy. So basically this game is a survival game, like there are many out there now, many shitty ones, and this one was very hyped up, it's the latest hype on YouTube as well, everybody's playing it, and I never heard of it before, until a week ago, Spartacus sent me a link, and I thought that for an indie game it looked actually quite good and pr quite promising, and even though it's early access and there's a lot wrong with this game, let me tell you that much though, um, I, uh, I wanted to try it. Now the reason why this is already my uh I spawned somewhere else, great. Where the hell did I spawn? You get over here. Alright. Damn it, now I don't know where I am. Great. Can I capture you no? What is this? Oh god, I'm picking all new sorts of stuff up. Anyway, reason why this is my uh, third playthrough is this is because I've had a lot of problems with the recording. I'm using a new recording software, uh, something besides Fraps, and it's been giving me so much trouble with this game. Um, like, files got corrupted, and... Um, last time the audio was out of sync it's it's been a nightmare with this game so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try again um, and I am going to record for only about 10 minutes and then check if the footage is okay in terms of sound last time it might have gone and corrupt or um, out of sync because of the loading screen didn't correctly record that but yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this game. What is this game? This game is a mix between Lost, DayZ, Minecraft, uh, I guess Rust, and like I said, it's been hyped up for quite a while. Ooh, look at this lake. This island is actually a lot bigger than I thought. So basically, this is a single player horror survival game. Oh, there's a campsite over there? All these new areas that I didn't know of. I want to find my, oh, my my old spot, though. You can spawn in different places, but it's not randomly generated. I know that for a fact. That's kind of the stupid thing about playing this now for the third time, is that it's not entirely blind again, and even though I did spawn in other places, I know some things to expect. But then again, it does save me some frustration from some new mistakes that I made. And boy, did I make some. Alright, here's the beach again. Well, I guess I was more at that side. So, okay, you crash on a island. And your goal pretty much now is to find your son. Which we saw was abducted by the local tribes. Which um, are a group of cannibals. And they will attack you. And in the beginning, they will only come with like two or three. But as more days pass by, they will increase in their numbers. And they will even gather new enemies. And some might even be other than human. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, and they will try to kill you. So your goal is to survive, to hunt, um, craft, and sort of set up a home base. And the first thing that you they teach you is to make a shelter. Now, I learned from post-apocalyptic or zombie type of games or series that it is always smart to have a base set up at the shore 
of a river or ocean, because zombies or monsters cannot swim. Now, in this game, they don't give a fuck, because they just walk through the water. And they won't drown. So that's very weird. Oh my god, what the... Oh! I have a spear now. That's interesting. Maybe I, I need to set up camp here, actually. Last time I spawned somewhere else, and I set camp further, but this might also be a good idea. And there was a shark like this there as well. Or I could go over here on this rock. Oh, uh, this might also be pretty... What the fuck is that? So this island, I have to say, is a lot bigger than I first thought. That's where I was. That's where... That beach over there, because the yacht was over there. That's where I set up my first home base. And I got immediately attacked. I got killed the first day, actually. Because what happens if the... if the? Oh my god. We might want to set it up here. Or not, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, maybe not. So, what's interesting about this is that in the Steam description, it says that the, the natives have uh, religion, motives, and a backstory behind it, which is not really explained. But basically, what it can mean um, is that you can build sort of like these effigies that I can show you here, these things, and I don't know what they do, but if you build them, they might leave you alone or something like that. And so now I see here, and I see this big tree, and this sort of like sacrifice thing, so I wonder if I build here if that's bad. If they're actually... If they actually fear this tree, so maybe it'll provide me with safety. Or... Maybe actually... Oh god. So this is still alpha, so it's still very buggy. The game crashed on me twice. Which was stupid. There's no save mechanic yet, which is also stupid, because that means that you kind of have to keep playing until you die. And so, playthroughs can actually last a long time. Um, it is a little spooky, though, I gotta admit. And it is not, it isn't very flat. I am going to build um, my shelter and everything on the beach. Also, one reason why I'm going to do that is you need to collect resources, obviously. You need to collect uh, logs by cutting down trees. And if I would build my stuff there, I would have to walk between them very far for just some logs. Um... There isn't a whole lot of space here, though. That's my only sort of, like, complaint. But I guess we're going to build a shelter. Uh, we're going to build it like this. And so you need sticks and stones and logs. As you can see, I need uh, six more sticks. I need eight more logs, and that is quite a lot. And so now the gathering section will begin. And I'm actually, I'm very interested in this whole genre of, of crafting and survive, survival uh, games. But because there's so much crap out there, you know, Gary's Mod Incident or what, One Day Incident, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, the World War Z or Infestation now, I think it's called. Um, I don't really want to spend my money on, on that garbage. I spend money on fucking Suryu being hunted and I thought that was absolute garbage. So... I know that there are a lot of fans out there of this genre, so if you're watching and you know a good game that's actually worthwhile, please let me know. Because I'm, for example, also interested in uh, dinosaurs, so I know that Stomping Land came out recently. But I saw videos and let's plays of that, it looks like utter garbage as well. 
You saw, what you heard right there is that the tree turned into logs that I can now carry. I think one thing that is better about this place is that it's not as close to a cannibal place. So they haven't really found me yet. And in the beginning, like I said, they won't be very aggressive. They will just send out a uh, sort of like scouting party of two or three. And if you approach them, they will run away. But after that, they will get reinforcements and then they will actually attack you. And if they attack you, you will get abducted to a cave and you need to escape. And if they kill you then, then you die. Oh, I need one more stick. Alright. Didn't know that. Thought I had enough. It doesn't really help as well that the bushes kind of look like men. Oh, God. Kind of look like men from afar. So now we only need logs. So one thing that's pretty cool is that obviously the trees won't grow back. So you're going to need more logs in the future for other projects that you're going to build, for other buildings or stuff. And so you will need to go land inward more and more, which forces you to go near the cannibals. Now, obviously, yay! So here we can sleep, uh, which will increase our energy. Our en energy is actually very low, as you can see to the right. But we can, for example, also drink some soda, and that will restore energy as well. And the big apple, gray apple, is our hunger. So that's all the day Z sort of like inspirations. Next thing, obviously, what you want to do is to build a fire. But because I already played this, I know that this fire isn't that good. A basic fire. A basic fire will only burn temporarily uh, and then it will go out and then it's pretty much useless after that but this one is a long of it that can be relit, uh, relit after it goes out so you definitely want this um, and we're going to do it here and basically you need rocks and sticks so we're going to find some and I have a whole seagull family over here that's pretty interesting might actually turn into sticks if I cut it. The next big patch update will be in about two weeks. So I'm very curious about what they will add there. They were talking about adding more animals to, uh, to the game, adding new AI, adding new things you can build, new creatures. Maybe also a co-op mode. That would be pretty cool. Just looking around a bit. See if any of the cannibals are near. So you can actually have a very unlucky spawn and spawn right next to a cannibal place and they will hunt you down then. It will take very, very little time before they will perform their first attack. And so you can do, you can even build stuff like walls, which you can place wherever you want. And 
Um, pretty much the regular units, regular people should not be able to get through that, but eventually they will get so strong in units that will actually be able to break through. So now we just need one more rock, which is right around here. Now it's raining, so that won't... <gasps> Double rainbow! Anyway. Theory of a fire. Burning it. It's wet though, so fire won't go up, but... Now I can cook things. Like the rabbits. There are also lizards and stuff. And, um... I'm going to, uh... Pause for now. Ah, uh, little birdie. To, uh, check out... Uh, the footage. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the footage seemed okay to me. Just a disclaimer, I've had the cr game crash twice already, so, um... You might not actually see the end of this, because this file gets corrupted and stuff. I will just uh, try every 10 minutes or something to reload a file or restart recording, I don't know. It's been giving me nightmares, this program. So there's a turtle here. I tried to kill him last time as well. Maybe I could get some meat, but I couldn't interact with it afterwards. So I was like, well, I'll just let the turtle uh, let him be. But I do have a spear now, so I don't know if that is the difference. But for example, the spear that I got can be used to hunt fish. But, I think mostly fish in the lake. Is that a shark? No, that's a turtle. Oh, so, hold on. Let me get my spear. So, if I... Uh, there you go. So, I have a good source of food here. What happened to the fish? What? Oh, I have the fish now here. So I put the fish... ...on there? Sorta? Yeah. There it is. So now it's cooking, and in a while I can eat it! Fires also discovered- and there they are! See? There they are. There are about three of them. Hold on. Let me get my axe. You can also build traps. Kind of scare them off. And I ate it. So, uh, one of the things uh, with the shelters is you can actually build a log cabin. Uh, it says here that it takes 35 to make. It takes like 82. It's ridiculous. I am actually made that motherfucker. Uh, it is not worth the hassle. You need to like run forth in between trees 40 times. So, we're not going to do that right now. There's storage though where you can have a log holder, but I'm not too sure how that works yet. You can build this, which I don't know what it does. It doesn't even give me a name. It also seems bugged out. So I'm not gonna fuck with that. So, custom building, you have walls where you can sort of like build your own sort of... Should I guess? In terms of food, we got a rabbit cage, which I do want um, because earlier we saw all those rabbits. Now, you need live rabbits for this. Uh, and if you put them in there, they will multiply and that will be a good source of food. So... We will have that over here. And you need sticks for that. 